So hello everyone and welcome to a product review. Kind of a surprise. Didn't even know I was going to be doing this, but I am. Um, so come holidays, got a new phone. Nice new phone. The Droid DNA by HTC. You can see that right now. Right there. Yep, that, that thing. So yeah, I've been using it for about a week. Um, so now I think I'm ready to give a I mean, it's not a proper review, like, I could be using it for longer, but what the hell, it's a phone. I've been using it for a while, and I'm used to it, for the most part. Anyways, um, so, uh, for starters, if you're wondering what the camera on this thing looks like, uh, you're seeing it right now. Um, it's reasonably late in the day, so there's not really a whole lot of light, so I am using the lights in my room, and, um, yeah. So... Um, me and my mom were both on the same plan. We both ordered the same phone because it's a pretty high-end phone, but it was actually for free on Verizon. So we figured, what the hell? Let's both get one. So yeah, that's how you see this right now. I don't know if the audio on this camera, or on the phone that I'm recording on right now, which should probably kill me if she knew I was using her phone to record this, but yeah. Um, I don't know if the audio on it is going to be any good. So if it's not any good, I have yield an iPod over here recording and if it's not good I can just go back to this. This is what I've been using for a while now. Who knows, maybe I'll end up using this in most of my other videos and maybe the audio quality will go up a little bit, hopefully, I don't know. But just in case this isn't good. And even still the audio for a moment in this clip as I'm explaining this is going to be from the, can the microphone on the Droid DNA. And then I'm going to go back to this audio. If it's bad. If it's good, then fuck it, I don't even use this. And this will all be sounding weird. So let's get right back into the review. Okay, so the phone shipped with... Is that something on my finger? Yeah, that was weird. The phone shipped with Android 4.1.1. By the time I got it, which it's reasonably into, I think it actually came out at the beginning of last year, beginning of 2013 or end of 2012, something like that. Around that time. Um, since then, it has gotten the 4.2.2 update with, ooh, focus, with, um, HTC Sense 5.0, which, if you don't know, it's pretty much the same software that's running on the HTC One, the one with the uber nice speakers and all that. Anyways, um, here's the default, no, not the default lock screen, but here's one of the lock screens that you can choose. It's, and... All the other reviews that I've seen, they all go over, like, how the display looks great. But again, you just... At first, I thought, okay, it's going to look nice. But it's incredible how good it looks. Like, it's just... It's amazingly beautiful. Like, I am surprised at how good it actually looks. So, right here, just got my normal apps. Or phone, opera, messages, camera. And then it shows you weather and date and all that. And that's one of the many lock screens that you can choose also. So when you open it, your default home screen, which I don't know if you can change it, I think you actually can. Actually, let me check. Can I change my... No. So yeah, when you hit that um, the home button twice, it takes you to this. HCC. I think it's called Blink. I don't actually remember. <laughs> um, but... At first, when I, it's also on the HUC one, so if you're curious, it's the same thing. At first, when I saw it, I was like, there's no way. That's I'm, I'm not going to use that. What the hell? Actually, it's actually pretty good. I, I use it a lot. Like, it's surprisingly good. It's the same thing. Um, recently made an Instagram account. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. And it's actually surprisingly good. I was amazed. And especially when it ties in with this. Like, it ties in with Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I think a couple of other services that I just haven't tied it into because I don't use them. There's the only three that I use. So there aren't a ton of options, but the interesting... Hmm. That's interesting. Um, but the interesting thing about it is um, the ones that it does tie into, they're probably your most used ones. I mean... To be honest, most of us are just Twitter, and then the few of us that do use Facebook and Instagram, there it is. It's actually pretty amazing. Anyways, um, other than that, 
So I can actually show you the... Um, the settings are custom. They're HCCs. They're not vanilla Android, which to me is a downside that it loses points for that. So it, it has a lot, and it really does, it has a lot of bloatware. Like going through this, um, adding most of these, all the Amazon stuff, I didn't add that, that came on it, the American Express app, whatever it is. Um, it also scrolls up and down in the app drawer, which, eh. And also, um, another, I don't know if it's a bug or is meant to be like that, but let's say you fill up the screen. Um, hold up. Let's say you were to fill up this screen. Then, the only way that you can add a widget is by holding on a blank area on the, on the thing, um, on the background. And if you don't have a blank area, and let's say you don't have an extra panel with a blank area, then you can't, you have to go into it to add an extra panel. So, it, once you add that and you lock them all up, then you can't add any more unless you just get rid of an icon, remove it, and then you get a blank area and then you use that to do it. Which is kind of annoying, but I guess I understand because, like, you know, big clunky fingers and blah 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 blah. Oh well. Um, other than that, um, specs wise, you can find those anywhere, so I'm not really gonna. It's a quad core processor and 2 gigs of RAM. It's really. It, honestly, I think um, nowadays, especially with smartphones, even a low end smartphone, you're getting specs that are gonna run most of what you want, so it's not really an issue. It's not something that I, in particular, pay attention to. But I will tell you that it takes a lot to drive that quad-core. And again, like, the battery is just... I've seen, like, Austin Evans and uh, Marcus Brownlee do a review of this phone, and they both said, phone is great, beautiful, fast, the battery. That's the only thing about it. The battery is horrible. Also, if you think you're getting great speakers like CCC1... I don't know if I can show you this. I can't really show you. But that's the only speaker on the phone. And it's it's clear it's enough for a speakerphone, but it's nothing particularly good. It's you wouldn't listen to music on it or watch a movie with it like you would with an HTC one. Which really that's the best comparison for this phone. The Beats Audio on it, which does have the branding, that's purely for headphones. And pretty much, it, it's not even hardware. It's just an equalizer. After spending, I don't know, probably like 10 hours listening to music on this phone. Here's the thing. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but it's... It, whenever I'm wearing like a proper set of headphones, and on the equalizer, if it's a song with bass that's really heavy, like my ears start to hurt. Like, not like my actual eardrum, just like the overall of my ear. And I get that on here when I use the Beats Equalizer. When I turn it off, it's just fine. So, I, I don't use the, the Beats Equalizer. I just don't. Also, apparently I turned that song on. Which, do I lose it? They have this weird, um, I don't know if this is the multitasking on the HTC, oh, focus, on the HTC One, but it's kind of weird. It's not bad. Just swipe up to get rid of an app. I mean, it's not... It, again, it's not bad. It's not great. Focus. <laughs> yeah. This camera. Not very good in low light, actually. It's very grainy. Um, I'll take a picture to make sense of this, and I'll have it showing right here in the video. Really not that great. It's okay, but it's not that great. Um, other than that, a, one, one cool thing about it is it does come with a brilliant number of widgets. The widgets are pretty good by default. Like, all of these widgets that I'm using are all default. Um, got the normal Google search, airplane mode, turn on and off mobile data. If you're on, or of course this phone is only available on Verizon unless you're talking about the J Butterfly, which is the non-Verizon version of this phone. Um, it does have the My Verizon stuff, which is actually not bad, because it shows you your data usage. Don't really have a lot of data, but, yeah. Um, auto-rotate. Have that. And then there's a bunch more widgets. Um, you can turn on and off mobile hotspot. 
Um, actually, these are all vanilla Android, so. Um, I'm trying to find them that aren't vanilla Android. Also, sorry if I'm rubbing the phone. <laughs> just realize that. I don't know why I do that. Sometimes I just rub my headphones in. Um, I don't know if I can find Okay, um, here we go. Auto rotate. Actually, I added that. The Audible widget, more Amazon stuff. Audible, Amazon. Scroll down a lot more. Um, this power dashboard. I don't think that's vanilla Android. I think they added that on. Uh, this brightness one, ringtone, Wi-Fi, timeout, slacker radio. It does come with slacker radio. Um, do, do, do. I don't think these stocks ones are vanilla Android or stock Android, whatever. But other than that, um, yeah, a lot of bloatware. Very nice screen. Screen is just wonderful. Cameras are pretty good for stills, except in low light. But even so, I came from. This is a, um, this is actually my first. Um, it's not my first Android phone. I've had lots of experience with Android on like tablets and um, running in VM on computers. Um, also, for a while, I used an, a really old Android 2.1 phone as like an iPod Touch sort of. When I got tired of this thing, which is pretty shitty. Um, and for a while, I've been using a feature phone with the old an iPod, and I've been using that as like my sort of day-to-day -day thing. So this is the first time that I've actually used an Android phone full-time. And I have to say, it's pretty damn good. Like, there isn't anything that I'm missing from anywhere else. I've got all the cool apps. Um, Facebook Messenger app is amazing. By the way, I'm surprised at how good it is. Um, Twitch app is awesome. Lots of apps that just run perfectly smooth. Playing a couple of games. Here, let's open up Gun Club 3. That's a pretty 3D intensive game. And you can see it actually runs very smoothly. Also, I'm slowly moving over this way. Sorry. Let's see if we can load on this game. Come on, load, 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 load. Load, you chode. God damn it. Oh, God. Okay, that's better. Another weird thing while that's loading up. Um, this thing, at first, when I was reading, like, other people's, um, I don't know if you can see that. That's the little tray door to get to the USB charger port. Shit, my lighting is crap. But, um, it has, like, one of the little doors. And at first, you know, I was reading, like, other people's reviews, and I was thinking... Oh, well, I'm used to that on this phone, you know, it's, it's got a little thing, and, you know, it's not so bad, I'm used to it. Why not? On this phone in particular, it's really annoying. Like, I don't know why, it doesn't fit properly, like, you have to sort of, like, squeeze it in, and, I mean, I'm sure you'll get used to it after a while, I don't know why it's turned off, but it's still pretty annoying. Like, for a while, I was actually contemplating just cutting it off and using it. Other than that, the USB port is pretty solid. Fits very snugly, very rigidly. Pretty well made. Um, the back, I don't know why, it seems to attract oil from your hands. If you just wash your hands, if you just did the dishes, your hands are, like, clean as can be. It will still get oil on this back. I don't know why it's... It, it, it's just nasty. So the back gets dirty very quickly. Um, anything else I can think of? Speaker phone, again, well, if you're not talking about um, music, speakers on this phone in particular are just outstanding. Wonderful. Voice sounded very clear, very natural. Um, I personally also, going back to the display, I personally am a big, big, big fan. Okay, so here we can see the game. I'm a big fan of AMOLED displays. I like the oversaturated colors. I don't like the display on the iPhone. Um, but actually, this is not too bad. That being said, um, okay, so here we can see. 
Yes, yes, I know. I've played this game before, god damn it. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Oh, wait, that's how you do it. Arr, so sensitive. Oh no, I missed. Did I miss? I don't know. Um. No. No. No, I'm sucking. Shit. Oh god, the controls for this are horrible. Oh god, okay. Alright, so that's enough of that. <laughs> it's very smooth, it's just the controls for that particular game. Not very good. Also, I'm leaning over here again. Sorry about that. Um, other than that, if I had a coin, if I had a dollar for every time I said other than that in this video, I'd be pretty rich. I can pay my bill for this money. Blink feed, again, very good, very amazing. Very nice. Um, I was, I don't know if I was, I, again, I really, I'm drinking water. I was really surprised at how useful it was. I don't know if that's, again, if you're thinking, this is something that I will never use. Try it. If you're thinking you could use that a lot, try it. It's amazing. The only downside is like I don't know if there's an API for you to like do a plugin for another so another another so another social network. But if there were, it would be amazing to get um. Oh, what was that website I did a review of a while ago? Meet me. It would be amazing if you get like notifications for that on here if you could get um i think there's link actually i think i can no no go away uh okay here they go all right so you can get um associated press Reuters, huffington post that door is bugging me bang showbiz gawker Chow.com, Apartment Therapy, Autoblog, Cool Hunting, what the hell is Cool Hunting, Vice, MTV, ESPN, oh, CNET, Engadget, Gizmodo, VentureBeat, The Verge, you can even get IGN, and The Weather Channel. I don't know why you need The Weather Channel when it's like in the main thing, but okay. Categories. Oh, then you can make categories for this. But, um, honestly, I only really use this. You can also have it set to show you pictures, which I wouldn't do, just because, like, you never know if, like, you're texting someone and you're sending maybe personal photos, and it's going to show up in there. Ah, uh, yeah. That would be embarrassing. Or if, like, you're trying to show a thing, and, like, you just took a picture with Grandma last weekend, uh, that's that would kind of be embarrassing, too. Like, it, I personally wouldn't do that. Not just me. LinkedIn, Flickr. I think it might be another couple big social networks. You know, um, Tumblr would be interesting. Um, I don't know if I can think of anything else. But they, I, I, that's something that I would really like to see. Is maybe like a little HTC app store. And you can have, download plugins. Or even still, just from here, just have the option to download plugins for different things. And that would be... That would be interesting. You could add, like, pretty much anything to it. Um, it would also be cool if you could have your email scrolling through this. But again, that might be a little bit too personal. Might not like that. Again, you can always turn it off. Other than that, which, there you go again. Pretty, in oh, um, notification drawer, not that great. I kind of, it is nice that you have the vanilla Android toggles. But I kind of do like in, um, I don't know if it's just Cyanogen Mod that has it, but where you can scroll from one side or the other to get either the toggles or you can get the notification. Um, also, constantly shows weather, but you can get rid of that. And it updates whenever you get more weather updates. Um, also, the constantly connect to Wi-Fi. It's not that annoying, especially if you're like me and you just might forget so you come home and like you're watching something and then you should use up all of your mobile data in like five minutes. Well you'd have to have a pretty small plan for that, but still. That would that's it's not that bad. It's kind of okay. I don't 
it, it doesn't bug me as much as it does other people. So I think that's about it for this review. If you like this phone, or if you want to know something about it, oh, um, one other thing, rooting this phone and getting Sanogen Mod on it, even though it says it has official Sanogen Mod support, I've heard very mixed things about getting it on this phone. I've heard some people are having a lot of stability issues. I've heard that some people can't even get root on it. So if you're planning to get a phone that you want to run a custom ROM on, maybe this isn't the phone for you. Maybe you want to just go for a Nexus device and say, screw it, I'm done, I don't want all that trouble. Or even then, the Droid Razor M is supposed to have amazing Cyanogen mod support. You might look into that. But if you are looking for custom ROMs, no. Oh, another thing, um, the screen on this, like the glass above it, very nice because you can just grab any old cloth and it's like perfectly clean. I don't know why, but on yield and iPod over here, you could, you'd have to rub it for like 10 minutes just to get it clean. Or even on this thing, on this feature phone over here, which is messed up tall hell and dirty. This thing, no. Like, it's got a smooth surface that's easy to rub your finger across. That, um, no smudge. That, for some reason, is just like, it's like fingerprint resistant. It's amazing. I love it about this. So even just running it in and out of your pocket, like, that cleans the screen off for you, and you don't even have to have a rag, and it's amazing. So if you're a neat freak, neat freak, this screen. Except for this. This is bad. Clean? No. Right, so I just sat down to edit the video, just watched over it, then I realized that I might have forgotten a few things to go over. So while you stir up my dinner down there, um, I will read to you a list of things that I have forgotten to talk about that are actually pretty good things to know. Uh, number one, I uh, just listened to the microphone on this thing while I was doing the video, and actually pretty good. Like, I'm... It sounded decently clear and crisp. Actually, kind of like it. Um, battery life. Um, I think I did touch on this in the actual video, but actually, did I even mean to put battery life? Don't know. Um, battery life is pretty shit. But um, to, to put it into perspective, um, I might be on a Skype call for with video for maybe using. Wi-Fi, not mobile data, mobile data turned off, 20% um, of my battery in about an hour of Skype calling. So, it's not horrible, but it's it's also not good. Yeah, no. Not good. Um, haptic feedback on this phone is particularly very good. Well, maybe not the best you've ever had. If I recall, um, I think it was the Blackberry Torch was particularly known for its haptic feedback. Very good phone. Um, not quite as good as that, but still very good. And again, because of the battery life right there, um, you might actually want to turn that off just because it does kill your battery a lot faster, especially if you're texting a lot. But to me, it's worth it. I work from home, so I'm always near a charger, so it's not really that bad. Um, do, 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 do. You don't actually have to use the blink feed, which that's what it's called, that blink thing. You don't have to. You can actually turn it off and go for a more traditional. Because it's not just a widget. It's a full screen on your home screen. So you don't actually have to use that. You don't. You can use the, a more traditional Android home screen um, if you want to. Uh, also, very bad keyboard. The actual keyboard that's installed um, from HTC Sense 4 Plus, which is what comes factory default on this phone, not particularly good. After you upgrade to Sense 5, keyboard is a little bit better, still not very good. I in, I in turn opted for the Google keyboard. Swift key is also a good one. I just prefer the Google keyboard. And I think that's it, so I am going to eat my dinner and edit this video and enjoy some tacos. Yeah. Just made these. It's good. Peace.